Another one of PowerShell's great discoverability features is the get command command. And I actually use this so often that it's one of the few commands that I really encourage you to use the alias for GCM uh, because you're going to be using it a lot. So why bother typing it all? Now there's a couple of great parameters that this thing offers. One of them is dash noun. So as you know, Windows PowerShell commandlet names consist of two parts, a verb and a dash, and then a singular noun. So the dash noun parameter of get command allows me to specify the noun I want to see. So, oh, and the cool part, it can use wildcards. So let's use proc. And that'll show me all the commands that do something with processes. And this is, this is a great thing. Uh, GCM noun event. Cool. So this is a great way to discover new commands. And if there's a dash noun, as you might expect, there's a dash verb as well. So you know what? Show me everything that I can do with the verb new. I can create a lot of new things. I haven't even added anything into the shell, and these are all the things it can create right out of the box. Uh, that also accepts wildcards. So if you're not sure of the verb, oh, I don't know, let's just get everything that starts with RE. Remove, register, restart, resume, lots of cool stuff. So this is another great way to discover commands. And finally, you don't even need to specify dash verb or dash noun. You can just put in some wildcards. Show me everything that has the word service in it. The only downside here is that in addition to commandlets, you're also going to get external applications. And some of these, like these, are going to be Microsoft.NET Framework DLLs. So you might want to look for a way to narrow that down. And the way to do that would be the, the type parameter, probably. Let's look at help GCM just to make sure. Ah, and I was wrong. See, it's command type. So I can specify command type of commandlet just to get the internal PowerShell stuff. So let's do that command type, a little tab completion there to get the full parameter name. Type commandlet. And that limits the list down, so I'm not getting those external DLLs and stuff. Again, this is a great way to discover what commands are available to you. Once you know the command name, it's easy enough to read the help to see examples and learn how to use the command, but finding the command is the tricky bit, and this is one of the ways you can do it.